Hey everyone, this is Pharaoh Silver, the Pharaoh of Beer Money Finance, back with another Beer Money Review. It's only a month apart this time, hooray! So for this one, I am reviewing Mist Play. So uh, this one was very much anticipated. I know a lot of you have been asking about this one, and well, here it is, everyone. So Mist Play was created in 2016 by Henry Charles Macalani over in Montreal, Canada. And it is available for the Android only. Uh, we will talk about why later on in the review. Misplay is very one track. They focus on earning points, which they call units, through playing mobile games. Misplay makes money from in-app advertisements and partnerships with game developers. They encourage users to play promoted games in exchange for the rewards and developers benefit from increased traffic and potential in-app purchases. The catch to them is you need to launch the games directly from the Misplay app. If you play games outside of the app, your progress won't be tracked. The amount of units you can earn greatly depends on the game, and as you can see, they sort of have a multiplier based on it. I got one here that's a Coin Master for 8 times the units. We got 6 times units for Merge Dragons. Uh, Monopoly Go is all the way down to a half. Uh... Guess I hadn't played it for super often there. Uh, there's also Dice Dreams, Game of Thrones Slots, Coin Master. There's several others here as well. Raid Shadow Legends, Guns of Glory, and so on. They do have a lot of stuff available as far as like earning. Now to get these units when playing a game, you need to reach particular checkpoints. To get those checkpoints, every couple of minutes you'll be rewarded something called GXP, short for game XP for playing the game. Now once you reach a threshold, you will receive a checkpoint and are awarded both player XP, also known as PXP, as well as units. You will receive those units as soon as you exit the game and return to misplay, and they'll show you which checkpoint that you have achieved, how many units you've earned, and how many uh, player XP that you have earned as well. On top of earning more often than usual lately, they'll have limited time events as well, like tournaments, which is just a bunch of players playing the game and seeing who plays the most at a particular time period. There's also special achievements under the events tab. Uh, as you can see here, I have an example of one here. I can get 20 units for playing any two new games for 15 minutes each, anytime in the next four hours as of this recording anyway. And they'll have these daily tasks show up once a day. Also, there are these limited time events as well. Uh, if you go over here, I can show you an example. The fifth one here, the one with the sword. Uh, it says here you can earn 80 bonus units when you try a new game for just two hours this weekend. And it is available until Sunday at 11.59 p.m. Now, if you go to the shop tab, you'll see that you have the ability to redeem units for money. Um, in order to redeem those units, uh, well, there's also not just units, there's also these gems as well. So how you achieve getting these gems is, if we go back to games here. So with games, you'll see here this little part called gems under the Merge Dragons, and it has four gems equals one dollar. That means for every dollar of an in-app purchase that you pay for, Misplay will reward you with four gems. Then you can go to the shop. So we'll just go to shop right here. And for every of those gems, you receive units. So for example, two gems is 10 units. 15 gems would be 100 units. 55 gems would be 500 units. And 100 gems would be 1,000 units. And the conversion rate of gems to units is what you see here. You can then take these units and you can redeem them for Google Play, Amazon, PayPal, PlayStation Store Card, Prepaid MasterCard, Nintendo eShop Card, Xbox Gift Card, Walmart, Starbucks, Target, DoorDash, Grubhub, Uber Eats, GameStop, Spotify, Burger King, the list goes on and on and on. Um, regardless of what you choose, uh, it looks like the conversion of units to dollars is 300 units to a dollar, except if you try to cash out for $5, it then becomes 360 units to a dollar. And the conversion of gems, if we go from gems to units to dollars, 
if you, in case you want to know what the cash back is per gem dollar, let's say, for example, the four gem to the dollar for Merged Dragons. Well, here's the math behind that as well. Assuming the best conversions, four gems should earn you approximately 40 units, which you can then transfer those 40 units and turn them into the best conversion being about 13 cents. So for every dollar that you spend, you can get up to 13 cents back. Okay, I think this is one of those apps that would be better off to show off a demo. So if that's okay, I'm going to go ahead and show one of those demos. I'm going to pick Coin Master here and I'm going to install it. Okay, and when I click install, you see here, um, it is starting to load for me. And if you get this misplay splash screen, that means that misplay is looking at this basically. Okay, so I now have Coin Master on. I'm going to allow notifications. I'm going to just play as a guest for right now. And I'm going to connect here. All right, so I'm just going to keep playing. And we're not focused on the game itself. We're focused on that. You see the uh, GXP that I have just earned. So I'm going to get it to the next checkpoint, and then I'll see you there. Okay, so here's where we're at right now. And you see I got the one-day streak complete. I got two units for my bonus because I hit my daily streak. And I reached that first checkpoint, which allows me to earn some units. Okay, so we just hit the next checkpoint. As you see here, checkpoint has been reached. We can now finally go back 160 units, go back to misplay, and there it shows my game checkpoint with the amount of units I've earned and the amount of player XP that I have earned as well. And that's how you get to the uh, units with misplay. And then that's 160, which I believe counts as like 50 cents roughly. Yeah, not too bad for just playing for about five minutes time. Uh, that's the unedited of this is about five minutes, but you're probably only seeing about one or two. So if you go over to the profile tab and you go all the way down to invite and manage friends, you can go and click on invite and manage friends, click on learn more, and this will show you how friend referrals work. Basically what you receive, uh, they do receive, I believe a 200 unit bonus when they sign up, but you will collect units equal to 15% of your first five friends ongoing earnings. So basically the first five people that you bring into misplay, you'll be able to earn 15% of that. Um, also, they will receive an additional 100 bonus units on top of the 200 welcome units as well for using their uh, your referral link for a total of 300, which is roughly a dollar. Finally, other ways that you can earn units is with these sweepstakes where you can enter a sweepstakes for a chance to win 10,000 units if you click on the units here. So if you click on the sweepstakes and you click on join sweepstakes, all you have to do is install one new game and reach checkpoint two for this entry fee. The entry fees can be different according to um, the sweepstakes, but it's usually something like install a new game or maybe spend like a small amount of units. Now that we are done with the features about misplay, I do want to talk about one major common complaint with misplay, and that is game availability and maximum earning potential. Your maximum earning potential on misplay comes down to how many games are available in misplay, and that's about it, since they don't have any offer walls to pad things up. The pay starts really well when you play, especially if you play the bigger name games like Coin Master, Monopoly Go, Merge Dragons, Dice Dreams, Raid Shadow Legends, and so on, but once you've completed the easy milestones, and more so completed milestones entirely, then what? You're left with much less earning potential than you did before. And if you somehow go through all the games, then your earning potential is basically zero. 
And it is a common concern for many users of the app that the game starts off giving you 20, 30 bucks easy, but the earning slows considerably and almost grinds to a halt after some time. Second, misplay is only available on Android, so if you have an iPhone, you can't take part. The main reason for this is because the iPhone's features make it so it's impossible to keep track of your data usage with the iPhone. So because of that, most players who have who want to earn money playing games have no choice but to use achievement-based rewards apps if they want to get paid for games, and misplay is not one of them. Now, they might refresh with games after a little while, but in my opinion, misplay's use is mostly short-term. They pay really well for what they do to start, so it might be worth at least trying to get in on it, but after a while, it's really not worth it. So under this new system, we're not doing a color coding system anymore, but I would say I recommend the game for the short term. So basically less than six months. And if you don't like achievement based systems as well, and you want to play at your own pace, that is a great advantage that Misplay has over other rewards apps. Also very good at this as well. And like playtime that sometimes will show you a game or two and then completely forget that it exists. There's a lot of people regarding playtime where they don't find any games at all and they're pretty much left stranded. Uh, Misplay, for the most part, does not have that at least for a little while. Um, if you do want achievement-based games, though, or achievement-based apps, I would recommend going to a larger multi-way reward app like Free Cash, Bridge Money, Benjamin, or Swagbucks. I'd even recommend Atlas Earth's Atlas Arcade for the time-based ones as well, or if on an iPhone, the achievement-based ones, but they are usually pretty spotty. So the next best thing, in my opinion, is probably misplay. And unlike other apps I've tried, like Tap Champs, it actually works if you do it properly. And that's the video, everyone. If you are interested in misplay, I did leave a link in the description below. You can try it out for yourself. Let me know what you think of misplay as well in the comment section. And if I missed anything, if there's any features I might have missed, it just seemed a little weird that they only focus on games and they don't have other ways to earn, but alas, you know. Uh, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to Beer Money Engine. This is Pharaoh Silver signing out. Bye everyone, see you in the next review.